Hello friends. My name is Sachin Sharma. I am the founder of Enraiser. In previous two sessions I have we have learned the basics of Keystones uh, using a real time use case of making a shopping carts. I have published two videos uh, uh, explaining Keystones uh, via a, via a project of uh, shopping carts and we have learned the, the basics of keystones, JAD, how we can create page, views, routers, uh, models, a database and lots of other things I have, uh, we have learned. Uh, but still it is a basic uh, shopping carts because in real life uh, use cases there are more complexities and uh, we need to understand that how we can use keystone or mongoose to address real life uh, complexities. Uh, so in this session uh, we are going to learn two basic features uh, which is data populations uh, from mongoose and also how we can address the complex use cases. So uh, coming back to a shopping cart uh, project uh, we have uh, added products and uh, in my orders we can see the list of orders and in each order uh, there is information about order but I have not printed because in this sessions we will go detail into it how we can print the order information even order related uh, metadata so when we add to shopping cart The real life scenario is the customer may want to add more product into shopping cart as well as he may choose to select quantities for the product. And also in real life situation the price of the product may change. So the total of order depends on the current price of the product and uh, the owner may also want to like discount for today so these kind of information are related to order and not related to product so when we have this kind of structure where oh, order is pointing to a just a product is not sufficient we need something more in mongoose if you go to the schema types you have string number data buffer and some advanced schema types are there like mix array so Obviously we need <coughs> an array of something which is holding a product as well as quantity. Like instead of product we need something like this then only we can address the complexity so basically what I want us to say is not a list of product but a list of order item each item is having a reference to product as well as extra information like quantity discount, current price, etc, etc. But when I compile this code, I get this error. Field must be specified with a type function. 
what keystone is going to tell is telling us that keystone doesn't support array so the developer of the keystones has clearly uh, brief about this problem complex model with nested collection or for that matter mixed schema types are currently possible but not supported in admin ui so the complex use cases we may need lot of things like nested as i said you can have a field which has subfields or an array or a mixed mix means dynamic however in our use case we are only concentrating on the array so if you go by what he says the mongo schema is available for to modify to your heart's content so what he says is he has open up the schema for you mongo schema for you to make use of advanced mongo features and he has given example like this gallery dot schema dot add and then you can have that thing so instead of this because this goes to keystone we should uh, have something like this so basically you can you have to extend the schema not order you don't add into keystone but add into schema of the model so this is definitely possible that's what he says and he also warns that the downside is obviously the image field will be completely ignored by the ui what he says is in admin panel you cannot list see the items because now it is not part of keystone model it's part of mongoose model so definitely we can go further deep into implementing this in case you need you have to develop your own admin ui but for now and i would also like to create another sessions for this but for now let's not do this and stick to keystone <clears throat> so how we can go about this let's add one more model called order item and in that have product and quantity and uh, in order have a reference to item like this a pointer to order item many so the order has more than one order item this order item will as already we wanted to do is can have reference to product one product 
so man is equal to false and then quantity price and discount so now let's go about using this let's create the quantity while we add to cart so i have added a text field here where you can give the number of quantities the default value is 1 now i am just adding the uis for supporting our new use case So, when you click purchase but uh, so add to cart button, I am trying to get that value using jQuery. Total also I am cal calculating based on number of quantity and product price as well as I will pass not only product ID but also quantity earlier we used to put we used to get the product and putting it into the cart now we will create a structure and store along with the quantity then In the middleware also we did something to get the total we should use that structure dot product dot price and structure dot quantity and in my card dot js let store i cart as a items and not the products because in <coughs> session we are storing items now In my card, we cannot see the product because it's this post is an item. So go to mixing and um, copy this and create a new function. Let's call it item. item of the cart let's call item of the cart so each item we will put that cart product name item product id item product price item quantity okay so let us see what we have done so far related to the session and cart So we have added a new field for quantity. So it's got added. Let me repeat once again. We have added 
new field when we click it goes to cart here we are using the price that side is 40 now 20 to 240 and now it is also given to the carted function carted api and then that will also add it to session so when we refresh we should expect the 40 here that is because i have changed the middleware and they are also um, using the quantity now from the say something instead of product okay so this is should be items minor mistake now we can see the my cart is having not only the product but its quantity also let me add one more product product 2 quantity 1 70 because 30 plus 40 so in my shopping cart there are two product product 2 1 and product 1 2 quantity now let us build the purchase uh, button implemented earlier the purchase implementation was in purchase.js earlier we used to create an order and all those products from the cart were stored into the order because earlier the order was having a reference to the products but now it's referencing to the item so on purchase we need to first now store every item in the cart into database also let's call this uh, and uh, let's not push it because this structure is not part of the database now let us understand async features I have already done it because this is asynchronous creation of the database is asynchronous we cannot do it in for loop for that purpose we have to use async library You, you know the for each functions features of uh, javascript but if we do that it is synchronous and we can the node.js is mostly asynchronous so we have to use asynchronous features of it so now I am iterating over the cart each item of the cart I will store it I will create a structure and store it into mongoose database when save is done I will call callback this callback is this we will go to the async and async will call iterate next again callback when last callback is done async will call this function and tell me that now you do the next activity so here i am storing the ids of the order item newly created creator order item and its database id database id i am storing into this array so when everything is done when i am here i will have array of order item ids and now i'll be storing i'll be creating order and storing this order IDs and finally I will let's uh, build this but before building very important thing is the earlier table was earlier earlier order table was different it is having pointer to products 
reference to products and we have modified the order table we also created order item maybe order items are existing but empty it's empty but order is wrong so we have to clean up the database now so let's call db.order.drop now find and there is no order this is very important because otherwise your program will crash because your old data structure is not matching with new data structure so whenever you do modification in model make sure that your database is, is cleaned up <coughs> so you are creating the order id same order but after this i would like to go to my order and that that order will be listed so the my order dot js local dot orders are stored then uh, in template my orders and calling order mixing functions order so this order now also have owner and each as item okay let's check now Okay, there was a slight mistake here. I should not reuse the order item. Let's call it O item. Some temporary name. Start and uh, yeah, we have to delete this order item, old order item also. Let's make sure there is no order. Okay. everything from scratch hmm okay so order is created you can check it order is created which is pointing to to order item two other items are created so this is first item this is second item this has been printed from mixin order now let us learn our next complex requirement see if i go to cart in cart i am printing the product name can i do the same thing in order also from the database order dot customer is been printed see order dot customer id is printed 
so this is id and each items is also an id we need a very uh, user friendly ui here we cannot deal with the ids we have to use the ids of it now if we go to per my cart uh, my order what is it hmm. order is being retrieved list of orders been retrieved from database stored and used so when you retrieve from the database it doesn't have related information what you have is numbers only we cannot use numbers we need info of that object it is items what quantity it is customer what name it is how we can address this issue keystone is supporting mongoose features you have heard of a population so let me write populate what what is order let's start with customer so this should replace the id with real user object and then in um, order instead of id we can use name dot first let us see it should be replaced with owner so yeah we can see here that uh, customer is populated so this order is placed by customer call admin now in the same manner we need to populate items also so if we go to my order we need to say that not only populate customer but also populate items once item is populated how we can use it now this item is not a number this item is an object so still we can get the number using id plus since it is populated we can get the quantity let us see yeah there was some minor mistake here okay so you have still got the item id and quantities are i think it should be two but anyway so first item one quantity second item two quantity but still which product it is how we can get because we populated items but still there is a deeply there is a variable called product each item has a product and we want the product dot name how we can print here unfortunately uh, it's uh, not directly provided by kistron so i was we can hope item dot items dot uh, product also to should be populated but it's not working 
deep population is very tough but uh, going future it, it's it, this kind of functionality should be provided by keystone but right now it's uh, not there so I have used uh, a plugin called mongoose deep populate let me install oh sorry mongoose deep populate and then you have to tell which fields you want to deeply populate uh, I want to deeply populate order so before registering you, you invoke the deep uh, this plugin and pass keystone mongoose and then attach the plugin to order schema now you can call deep populate functions so now forget about populate let's call deep populate so even customer so you don't want to pop actually deep populate customer but items you want to deeply populate let us see after then we should be able item dot product dot name so this is the deep population we have populated items then we are populating product let us see okay so now we can see that product names are also deeply populated so now you have object id object quantity item quantity and item product name this is the way you can deeply populate and so we are almost done now i am going to uh, only talk about one thing called reverse population in our use case there is uh, no requirement of reverse population but uh, for example this order is pointing to or referring to user so when you are listing user how can you uh, tell the user's order also right but generally this is uh, this is many one to many relationship and then it's be better to have query where with where clause but naturally if you want to do the best use cases when there is a one to one relationship i'll just show you one of the use case in one of my project this is the user model which has profile user profile so obviously this is one user one profile kind of relationship the profile is pointing to the user as a relationship so it is easy to have the owner of the profile by relationship but when you have the want to do the listing of user you cannot use relationship because user is not pointing to the profile in this scenario there is something called reverse population what you have to do is you have to tell mongoose that user dot relationship into bracket path so how you want to do <coughs> use this reverse relationship by let's call it profile this is related from profile that means this class <coughs> this model and there it is called owner so now in member page you can see user uh, all the users are being printed and all users are reverse populated so like this profile there it is called i am calling profiles there it is called owner
so this way you can have reverse populated data also i think that is all for this sessions we have learned population reverse populations and we have run learn the complex scenarios of order having multiple items by actually defining another models but uh, obviously this is the best solution because it it does not create too many tables too many models even deep population you should avoid because mongoose database is not a relational database and this this way of utilization is we are creating mongoose as a relational database and actually that's not good mongoose is beautiful when it is not relational so it is better to copy the data from one row to another row at the time of creation rather than populating them too much populations is like uh, sql foreign key and all that kind of things and you should not design such but in case your design end up somewhere where you have to force you are forced to use it then you should use deep populations and things like this thank you very much